All right. All right. So, um, yeah. So this market seems like it has moments when it's, it's starting to slow down a little bit, but it doesn't. Um, it ultimately doesn't lead up to much. I did notice last night, and not even just last night. Over this past week, um, late night, it seemed like the market has been actually being more um more likely to get into position like we almost saw some things when we were on training you know we we had like a couple of close calls to what we look for it almost happened but it didn't happen and when things don't happen when you have your um your way of going about implementing your approach and your rules you can't bend your rules for nothing. You got to stick to your rules. I think that's a major reason, too, why a lot of people will, will end up losing um, over the long term. is because they too easily break their own rules that they set for themselves. You know, if you make it easy to just break your rules, you it's like not having to be accountable for nothing. You know, that's kind of what it's like. And you know how people act when they do, when they're not accountable. Or I should say, when they're not held accountable, people just be acting up, man. So you, you know, it's easier for you to do that if you don't hold yourself accountable or if you're not held accountable. Even if it's not you holding you accountable, somebody else needs to. That's why um, having like an accountability partner is helpful because... If you have someone that can make sure that what you're doing is in line with what you're supposed to be doing, that's what you need. You need you need that constantly, as a matter of fact, especially depending on how you are. You know, if you if you a certain type, it's much easier for you to um, kind of fall back and slip into certain habits and certain conduct then you don't need to you know not have someone help and hold you accountable because if you can't do it yourself which most people can't you need somebody else to help you to do that you know that that's a, like I'm I'm pointing that out because that's what the group represents you know you got you got you got a bunch of people on the same path with you and there's only one thing that should be followed. Like well, there's only one thing that we're doing and that we're waiting for every single day, day in, day in and day out. So for you to not just be okay with that and to not stick it out and adhere to that, it's gonna cause you to just do certain things. Like it's, it's almost like it's inevitable. You're gonna end up doing something that you ain't got no business doing, you know? So. Uh, let me see something. Where did that even come from? Sometimes I get messages and I don't know where it, where it is. Like I can't find it at all. But, but accountability, man. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Sorry about that. <laughs> Yo, my body just feel. I feel like I could just take a power nap right now. But anyway. So... Um, <laughs> Stacy said, like slapping a coworker. <laughs> yeah, sort of like that. Exactly, sort of like that. Uh, Jermaine, what's happening? What's up, um, Damon? What's up, Jay Carly? What's up, Joel? He said, I need some ginger root tea. You ain't lying. And I got a whole box of it, too. I got a whole box of that stuff. Yeah, I probably, I, I probably drink some when I come back home. <clears throat> I was saying, well, that, that's what, actually what I was mentioning earlier about, um, you know, when you got your, when your kids are in school, you in school. Like, you on the same clock with them. You are on the same clock, and your body gets used to that clock. Fist of cuffs, what's good, man? 
Yup, your body get used to that clock. <sighs> oh my goodness. Shit. I should have took a nap first, maybe. Damn. I should have took a power nap. And what it is, too, I had just ate, too. <laughs> you, you, you know what happens when we eat. I don't got to tell y'all. Y'all know what it is. But, um... Charge right now looking kind of like how it's been looking all week. I'm seeing intermittent, um, you know, moments where it looks like it's about to start slowing down. And then the speed just kick right back in again. So, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. See, like that. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what, what that message is or where it is. Um, the markets ain't looking good if we talking about random stuff from what I've observed. That's true. That is true. You know, if we if we if we having a conversation about something else, then the market ain't doing too much. Yep, you're right about that one. There you what's happening. Oh my goodness. Sheesh. Uh JR said email maybe. Um what you mean, JR? You said email. I'm not sure what you mean. Jay Carly said, yeah, the market been just kidding all week. <laughs> yeah, been head faking, right? Yep. Um Oh, no, no, it's not. It's not an email actually. It's a um you know what it is? It's a push notification from it looks like it's from Instagram, but I'm like, well, how am I getting a, a, a notification while I'm on a live? But it might be coming from somewhere else on Instagram, like maybe an, another video or something that I did. I don't know. But it's, it's doing something like that. Bensky, what's up, man? <laughs> oh, well, yo, excuse me. I'm so sorry for yawning. I'm so, I apologize. I don't know why the sleep, the sleep demon is trying to get to me. Um, that notification you just got, I just uh, started getting those lately. It's been for the weather. Okay. Right. Yeah, it could be. Did see? Well, no, that's a Facebook notification actually. Hey, let me mute this because I know that that'd be loud to y'all. I don't, and I don't be meaning to have all that noise in the background. So, sorry about that. I know that's mad loud. Oh yeah, so yeah, it, it was a notification from Instagram, but it must be from another video when I did already. Lord have mercy. <laughs> I know, right? He said they've come to collect your delinquent in your in your sleep. <laughs> yep, you're right about that. Deprived a little bit, but not really. Like I, I get sleep. It's just that, you know what it is. Like when your body gets on a clock. Like I also notice too. Sometimes I'll sleep during this time. Like you see what time it is now. And I usually will come on around two. After two o'clock, my power nap is over. But what it was is my son, he's home today. So, you know, I went to bring him some lunch and do all of that type of stuff, running around. And then I messed around and I went in the house. I can't go in the house. If I go in the house, I get all comfortable and don't want to leave. So my body still, my body think I'm still in the house. 
My body's like, uh, what happened to the nap, bro? <laughs> it's like, what happened to that power nap, bro? She said, if it was anyone else, I'd say you need water. When you on, you're on a lot, you're dehydrated. <laughs> yeah, you either dehydrated or you just tired as hell. You on your way out. <laughs> to La La Land. Damon said, you got to check out uh, Mantak Chia Hell. What is that? Mantak Chia Hell. Okay. Get your energy right. And and, and my, my energy level was actually good. Like, I got plenty of energy. But you know what it is, too. The older that you get, the less you're able to stop sleep when it comes. Like... You, as you get older, you can't fight sleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to be able to fight sleep, like, as long as I wanted to. I could just stay up if I wanted to. As I'm getting older now, I'm seeing that you can't really do that. Like, if sleep comes over you sometimes, you just, you got to go to sleep. Like, your body is telling you, uh, you need to sleep right now. Even if it's an hour, hour and a half, you got to get that sleep in. And if and if you miss the if you miss that nap, your body will remind you that uh you know <laughs> you were supposed to take a nap at this time. And I know that that definitely has a lot to do with um the timing like for my kids when they in school. That's why on Fridays too, my body kind of know it's Friday going into Saturday. Saturday is the rest day, and like I rest during the day on Saturday because during the week I'm running around. Saturday, I'm resting during the day, and then we'll do something in the evening. You know what I mean? And then, and also, the more structured that you are with your schedule and your time, your body is is adjusting to the way that you have your time structured. Also, so it does. It just it's on the clock. And if you throw that clock off, it'll remind you that it's used to doing certain things at this time. You know, at such and such time. So yeah, that, that definitely got a lot to do with it. But I do a lot of um I do a lot of juicing. Like I juice almost every day. With some I, I make sure that I got leafy greens in it. Um carrot. You know, throw a couple of fruit in there, like some mango, an apple, and um ginger is definitely like incorporated just in general. Like we drink a lot of ginger tea, you know, that type of stuff. And of course, I drink a lot of coffee. Coffee is actually very high in um, antioxidants. They keep doing all of these different researches about coffee and they keep talking about the health benefits of it. They said people who drink coffee, they live 20 years longer. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, okay, I'm on the right path, cause I damn sure I drink coffee. Oh, let me see what's up here. Damon said, "Just me building." Yeah. So what? What, what is that 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 you actually mentioned? You said Mantak Chia Hell. Is that? Is that like um? Something organic. <laughs> he said real coffee, not that sugar laden stuff that I'll be drinking. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a man. Got you. Got you. I thought I thought that that was the name of some type of um, herb or something. <laughs> you pulled your arm because you <laughs> that's funny. I know. I saw her too. I saw her. That's funny. 
<laughs> okay, he said he's a master energy healer. Boom. <clears throat> yeah, see, see, that, see, the market it starts slowing down, and then it won't, it won't persist on slowing down, kind of. So you might see a needle in a haystack or something like that. Okay, on YouTube, got him. Dolo, what up? Yeah, that's Mike Hawkins, right? What's up, Mike? Yeah, Mike finally got on today. Like just like he said on Friday. And he was right on time, like clockwork. I know I know that you already probably watched 301. That was a few hours ago, right? When I sent that to you? Yeah, Jay Carly said mad thirst traps. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I just put I just put him in the group chat not too long ago. Let me see. Yep. And he ready to go too, ready to get busy. Oh, was it Jamie? It could have been. It could have been. You know I can't keep up. I, I don't. I don't even remember <laughs> much of anything. No, that's not true. I actually remember a lot of things, but what it is, you got to bring it to to your surface mind, so that you can focus on it. <laughs> exactly. He said, stop and drink water. Lots of oasis mirages being thrown at us. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> yeah, see, like it's doing it again. You, like you saw a couple of minutes ago, it was looking like it was going to slow down again. And then, poof. It's like, nope, psych. But we were talking about um, earlier in the week, I think it was Edmund. He had mentioned something about the Brexit and how that was affecting the overall market environment. And I'm pretty sure that it did have a lot to do with it this week, you know. But um, looking at the news is something that I don't typically do. The, the reason that I don't look at the news is because it doesn't change anything that you do within your process. Like if that makes sense. In other words, knowing that the news has affected the market or knowing what news has affected the market, it has no impact on your protocol. Like it doesn't it doesn't affect what you do regardless because it's it doesn't matter what news came out or what news is out if the if the news is having an effect on the market we already know that there is no opportunities if the market is is um behaving a certain way and if the environment ain't right we already know that regardless you know So that's why I don't actually focus on news at all. You know, whatever goes on, it doesn't matter because the the market is going to either respond to the news or it's not. And if it does and it has a reaction kind of like it did this week, if you want to if you want to say that it was as a result of the Brexit or, you know, any other type of um, 
events in general is like it's cool. It's just fine. But like I said, n knowing that something affected the market is cool, but it doesn't matter. Like it, whether you know it or you don't know what it was specifically that affected the market is irrelevant. That's kind of the point that I'm making. Aria, what's good? What's good? Okay, this is Walter. We got quite a few Michaels in the group, actually. I'm just real. I didn't know it was that many. Goodness. Let me count them. I'm going to count them real quick. Let me see some. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Michaels. There was another popular name. Um, I think it was David. I think there's a lot of Davids too. Very popular names. All right. Um, all you said nothing. Just chilling on a Friday. <laughs> That's it. Um, one of my trades this week was a super sin. Almost slapped me, went nine micro pips above the strike and came back down in three seconds. I know better got lucky. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I already said she didn't even look at the market. Yeah, you didn't really miss too much, to be honest. Did not miss too much. Why do this thing be cutting off when it's charging. Well, I don't understand why it does that. Hold on. Move this thing. I don't know why this thing cuts off. And it's like it overheats or something too. That's so whack. Jay Carly, she talking her, she talking her shit, huh? <laughs> she talking about only one Jay Carly. Yes, this we know. <clears throat> um, does it affect other pairs? Does what affect other pairs? And I don't know what I just did, but it's like. What what is that? Hold up. Nah, man. Is it me or does it look mad blurry now? Come on, man. The news. Yeah, it was mad blurry, right? Yeah, you know I can't take that. The news the news affects um usually the, the market that is associated with wherever the news is from or whatever country that the news is related to. And the news affecting the market is still not relevant to us. If that makes sense. Like, I, I kind of want you to understand because of what we do, it don't matter. What some people will say, you know, they'll say stuff like, oh, you know, let like make sure that you be careful because there's news coming out. And it's like, OK, I mean, news comes out all the time. I, I, it doesn't matter what it is, because 
we're not trading unless the market environment is what we need it to be, period. You see what I'm saying? So if the if the news is affecting the markets, that's just fine because the news always affect the markets to some degree. So do events and so do, you know, so does just uh, the, the, the volatility and the, the momentum of the market. You know, when um, funds are putting in um, large trading volume, you know, that affects the market. It affects the volatility and the momentum in the market. Does that matter to us? No. Do you know when that happens? Nope. Uh, is it relevant? No. And it's not, it's not like we're disregarding news, but we're disregarding the fact that news has an effect on the market because our protocol is so streamlined and so straightforward that all you have to do is just apply protocol all the time. Every time that you want to chart, apply the protocol and don't do anything else. Don't worry about news. Don't worry about nothing. That's more so what I'm, I'm getting at. You don't have to worry about when there's news. Put it like that. We don't got to worry about when there's news at all. Yes, exactly. Put a ring on your on your pair. Yep. And don't you know, like it's it's a good thing to not flip flop markets. The logic that some people have is, all right, well, I'm gonna look at five markets. So whenever there's opportunity. I'll be able to just take whatever trades on whatever market has opportunity. No. No. Long term, that is that's not going to be the best thing for you to do because you're doing too much and it's very easy to misinterpret like it, there's there's room for error. You're like things get lost in translation. So while you trying to interpret the behavior of one market because you're not as familiar with that market as you may be with a different one, the one that you're not as familiar with. If you decide to, to engage with that market, you don't know the nuances of that market because that's not your market. You see what I'm saying? That's not the market that you focus on. And you should only be focusing on one. You shouldn't be focusing on five. Yep, she said, <laughs> you made that clear, but I sure was about to ask why. Of course you was. Of course you was. Cause that's what y'all do when you're like in when you're twenty, when you're twenty something, you always ask why. That's my son all day. I'll be like, yo, don't do this. Um, may I ask why? Just don't do it. <laughs> always want to know why. No, but that's good to ask um, questions, definitely. Definitely ask your questions. Ask away. Oh, snap. Okay. Uh huh. Um. How did you determine the pound was your market? To be honest with you, um, the pound is just the market that I happened to gravitate to when I first started in the Forex market. It just happened to be the one that I liked. Um, it's interesting. I was trading the pound before the euro existed. Like I can remember when they created the euro. 
Um, so even before the euro came out, I was trading the pound. Even before the euro existed, I was on the pound. So I never really switched up and looked at any other markets. I always had looked at the pound. So that's kind of just what carried throughout the years for me. And over time is when I realized that every market has its own nuances and its own intricacies. And a lot of them are subtle. Like it's not blatant little, you know, it's not blatant things that you can notice where it's very noticeable. It's actually not noticeable. That's how it catch you because you you don't know the nuances. You don't know the little subtleties of how the markets um, vary in their movement from market to market. And because of that, if you're not familiar with that one market that you're looking at at the time and it does something crazy, it could do something crazy, but you could know that that's already the behavior that it, it normally does. But if you don't know that, You'll engage with that market and you end up getting smashed and you'll be like, oh, man, I don't know what happened. You know, where you well, where you might be kind of used to the market that you normally watch having certain behaviors. And it's not that you see what I'm saying? It's not what this market is doing. They're, they're doing different things. The timing of it is different. Little subtle things. And those little nuances make a difference. The fact that you don't know what they are, you know, it, it plays a part. It really does. Now, overall, when you apply the protocol that we use, it works, period, on any market. But that's not me telling you that is not me encouraging you to look at more than one market. I'm still telling you to only look at one market so that you don't stretch yourself too thin trying to keep up with all of these different markets and the way that they work and the way that they move. Nah, you don't got to do that because you will get stressed out. You get stressed out and you get burnt out. You definitely will. Yep. Um, so I know how I am. I just like to check the news from time to time just to see how it's affecting it. Yeah, and it's nothing wrong with that. It is nothing wrong with that. The 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 punchline for news is like I said a moment ago that it's not relevant to the process that we use. That's more so what it is. It's not relevant to the process. I'm not saying it's totally irrelevant because if it's affecting the market, it is relevant. It's relevant to the market that it is affecting. Is it relevant to the process that we use? Nope. What, what is relevant to the process that we use? Nothing. Nothing is relevant. In other words, th there's nothing that is going to disrupt the process that we use. When you apply the protocol, you are putting yourself in tune with the market that you're watching. Like you're literally connecting yourself to the market and you're getting in a position where you're going to be in cooperation with the market. So the market is not going to smash you. The market is not going to do all of these little head fakes and tricks on you. You're not getting caught out there. You just not, not, not. It's not going to happen to you. This is what the protocol does. This is why it works in any market. Because when you are waiting for the market to line up and get in sync, you know that that requires time and patience. What are we training to do? Build and to develop our patience and our discipline all at the same time. So that's why the training for us is so repetitive and it's ongoing. You know, like it never ends. If somebody was asking me that the other day. It was like, all right, so how long is the trainer for? I said, for life. <laughs> Forever. Like when, when, when are you supposed to stop training? When, at what point do you stop training and winning? Like if the reason that you're winning is because you're training. You're not winning because you learned something that now 
it's it, you know that it's always going to work. You don't know that anything is always going to work. The the training now that you guys are coming into, this is not the training that existed when I started. When I started teaching, it wasn't what it is right now. What it is right now is it's to the point where anybody, literally anybody, can come into training and begin to learn and apply the protocol and they will win. Simply by learning and applying just this and only doing this. Now, I'm not talking about deviating away from it and then doing other stuff. That's not what I mean. I mean, if you just train and you only do this that you're being trained to do, you will win. But I don't care what experience level that you're at, whether you're inexperienced or whether you've been traded for 25 years. Because we have both in the group. We have people that never traded. And then we got people that have been trading longer than me. So, you know, it, the, 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 the training is designed to do exactly what it, it's supposed to do. It's supposed to keep you and to maintain the ability for you to win. The reason that we win is because another thing that plays such a huge role is the discipline level. Just like now, this whole week we had no trades, right? In the past, so many people during this same week when they're not getting trades, waiting for the market to come, you know how many of them would have deviated and taken trades and would, and would have posted them and everything in the group? Oh, I took an early entry. Oh, I took it at the money. Oh, I did this. Oh, I did that. They would they would deviate and then talk about it in the group. You see, so the training has come a long way because the one thing that I never really did, I, I never really cracked, cracked down on people sharing because I want to always know what people are doing. That's that's the reason why it's like, well, Mark, why? You know, I see that people are doing different things. Why? Why? You know, I. Maybe I could do that. And I'm like, no, don't do that. Don't follow them. Follow the training. And this this has been my message the whole time. Like it gets deep. You got to understand, like the process of building this community of Team Alliance and building what we are to become like what you're going to become is not necessarily what you are at the current present time. But you have to have the vision to see it before it happens. That's what I've always seen from the beginning. I was able to see it. And this is exactly why I do everything the way that I do. Everything I do is strategic. Half of the stuff, people don't understand why I'm doing it at all. They're like, Mark, well, why are you doing another challenge? Don't worry about it. Just train. Don't worry about me doing the challenge. You train. Do your job. You see what I'm saying? In the past, I would do a challenge. People would try to follow the challenge. All right, I'm doing a one-a-day challenge. Right? What were people doing? Everybody was trying to follow along. All right, well, I'm doing one a day too. But they were getting sidetracked, and many of them would deviate to get the one a day. What happens on a day when the market ain't giving you a trade. What you gonna do on that day? You gonna force your way into the market? Many of them were. Like the evolution of, of, of the way that we, func that we function now and operate now, it took a lot to get to this point. Like it took a lot. It took a lot of people getting smashed, people getting slapped, losing, quitting, leaving, coming back, leaving again, coming back again. It's been a lot of that going on because people know that the real knowledge and skill is here in, in this environment, Team Alliance. When they lose and get discouraged, they, they don't know how to deal with that. And they're afraid to talk about it and open up to everybody else in the group. So they leave. Like this, like it's it's crazy. Like I'm I'm telling you guys all of the intricacies of what has gone on over time. 
This is nothing new. This is old information that I'm giving you right now. This is what people have done. And I'm telling you why. The reason that they've done that is because they deviated. And the reason that they have deviated is because I let them. I let them. People used to ask me all the time, well, Mark, why don't you stop people from doing such and such and such and such? And I'm like, well, for one, I need to see what everyone is doing. This way I can gauge what I need to do to try to help them without forcing it on them. Like that's that's my biggest thing. You cannot teach someone by forcing the teaching on them. Am I right? You don't you don't even learn that way. Do you learn from force or do you learn from your acceptance of the teaching? Think about that. It's the nature of how we are as human beings. I know that I can't force you to do anything. Right. What will happen is you will be working on yourself. And I got some good examples to use. As far as people, I have the I have excellent examples because you all know them. You'll see them now. And I'm going to get to that in a minute. But every person has to individually work out their own personal shit because in order to become the best and to become what you are to be you have to go through your personal process because it's yours you own it it don't belong to nobody else it don't belong to me and it doesn't belong to anyone else in the group it's yours so all of the light bulbs and the, the realizations and the awakenings and oh my God, I'm just realizing that I was doing it like this and I should have been doing like this. All of this, it just, it's a constant. And for some, they have to go like this. Like their learning curve is like this. And then like this. They got to go down first and then they come up. Some people, they'll be here and they just go across. They don't go down. They go to the other side by just walking across. They just follow directions, follow the protocol and execute. Some people, they got to dip. They dip first and then they come up. And this right here, this part that you see, the part that's going down. This is I'm, I, I'm, I, I quit. I can't do this. I quit. But when they get to the bottom. What's at the bottom? There's nothing there at the bottom. So you begin to just flatline. You flatten out and you're like, all right, now I'm here, but how the hell I get back up there? Come back into training. Boom. They come back into training. Now, now it's shifting. It's starting to move up like this now. Because now the second go round, when they're back in training, they switch it up a little bit. Not all the way, but they start to do little things now that they were not doing before. Like actually watching the training videos more. Watching them again and again and again. <laughs> not taking stupid trades. They got tired of getting smacked. They switch up. And when they do it the second go round now, now it's turning into this and now they're pointed back up now. But you still at the bottom and you got to come from the bottom and go up. So that that incline, you need energy to push you up. You see what I'm saying? You don't need as much energy to just walk across. You need energy to go up, though. You need energy to to go up. And that's the energy of the group. You see what I'm saying? So the environment that has been created that you guys are in now is not like it was in the beginning. As it shouldn't be. It's supposed to evolve and get better. And that's why, like I, from the very like I said, from the very beginning, I knew that already. And that's why I was like, no, you can't force it. It has to happen on its own. Has to. Because that's the only way that it's going to happen. Just like the way that you learn personally. Oh, this market is slowing down, too, by the way. I'm keeping my eye on it. The way that you learn personally. 
Same, it's the same principle. Same thing. Let me read some of these comments. <laughs> Jay Carly said, because people are going to do whatever they're going to do regardless until the pain is so bad, then we run back to daddy or big brother. <laughs> Quiz said, this is so true for life in general too. Yeah, that's what it is. That That's why what, this is life. Trading is life. Trading is life. It's, it's just, it's a very powerful perspective on life because you're learning your life lessons through trading. <laughs> Yo, J. Carr said, everything a roller coaster for me and I made it to the end, just like life. I did everything right. I just didn't know my real self yet. what it is man that's that is what it is and that's real and that's exactly why you know it's so funny because the the when you look in the group you, it's just like anything when you when you look at people you see all of these different types of people there's so many different types of people and you you're sitting back and you're looking and you're like yo I know he ain't gonna make it. Uh, he might make it. He ain't gonna. She ain't make. She can't make it. No, she's done. Uh, she might be all right. Like you're sitting back and you're kind of judging based on what people are doing, whether they're going to succeed or not. And you don't mean to do this, but this is just something that we do as as people, as human beings, right? So it's always the one. That you thought had no chance that will end up being the one that elevates and smashes everything. There's always one like that. We got one like that. Like there's one in particular. I'm not even going to say who it is because y'all, y'all, if you just follow along, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. You will know exactly who I'm talking about. When he started. It was like, damn, he ain't gonna make it. I give him a month. Stuck it out. Doing retarded stuff. Doing more retarded stuff. And matter of fact, it's more than one. It's more than one person. It's more than one person. And just sticking it out. This is what I'm saying about your personal process. So like, that's why when people ask me that question about, well, how long are you supposed to train? How long does, is it going to take to get rid of your bullshit in life? Is the question. Now it switches. It's like, wait, hold up. What you mean? What you mean? How long is it going to take me? You. How long is it going to take you to stop doing dumb shit? That's the question. <laughs> because you're losing because you do dumb shit. So you need self-awareness first. This is why, like, it's so crazy how everything just throughout the way that the training is, it helps you out the gate. We talk about this stuff all the time. We talk about self-awareness, understanding yourself first. You got to know who you are. Well, how are you going to find out who you are unless somebody shows it to you? Who going to show it to you? The market. The market is the mirror. So now you're dealing with the mirror. Now you're looking at the mirror. You think you're looking at the market, but you're really looking at yourself through the market. And that's when all of the bullshit is revealed to you. You see what I'm saying? You didn't know that you were capable of doing certain things yet. You didn't know that you would be end up doing some of the stuff that you end up doing. You didn't know that. Now you know. And now you in position to deal with it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Pops bone, what's happening? Quinn said the mirror, the reflection can be ugly until you make the adjustment. Exactly. What's happening, supernatural? 
Um, Jay Carly said, or oh, the reflection can have makeup and fake eyelashes. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. She just took it somewhere else completely. She just took it. Yo, did y'all catch that? I ain't even go that route. That's hard right there, what she just said. That is hard. <laughs> Yo, that's deep right there. Think about that. Oh, that's damn. I could I could do another hour just on that. Yo, this look, look. Let me try to sum that up real quick. You can't fake it until you make it. There's no faking. There's no faking it. You're not going to make it if you try to fake it. So fake it till you make it is nonsense. That's not that is not true. Because the only thing that's going to be left at the end of it is who you are. And that's it. You can't hide from yourself either. It's like running from your shadow. Why my shadow keep following me? Why is it following me? Because it's you. <laughs> she said, more explain it. <laughs> oh, Stacy, I saw it. I think, yeah, we got like three minutes or something like that. Yo, that's why I love I see and I <clears throat> I didn't even know n nothing would come out of this today on this live but look at that. Some nuggets right there that quick. The vibrations, man. The TA vibes is crazy. But Mark it look like it might slow down. But who knows? We got what another We only got like another hour and a half. And then it's a wrap. So I probably still look at things just, you know, just to, to close it out. But it don't look like much of anything is going on. But who knows? We've still got an hour and change. <laughs> she said they don't hear me in the back row. <laughs> right. And the nosebleed seats. <laughs> oh, man, that was hard, though. That was hard right there. You gotta bring that up again, Jay. Maybe bring that up um later tonight when I when I'm at Starbucks. Go into that. That was hard. Mm. <laughs> yep. Stacy said it's never rap. We have learning videos. See? You see how Stacy trains? That's what I'm talking about. That that right there is exactly what I what I'm talking about. When I every time I talk about training, that's that's it. Exactly what she just said. It never stops. <clears throat> that's why when people at, ask me that how long and all of that, I'll just be like, I'll be like, you don't get it yet. You just don't get it yet. But you will. You will. And that's another thing, too, just about Team Alliance in general. And it's going to cut off shortly. But let me try to say this before it does. What is it, 20-something seconds? Team Alliance is a community. It's an environment. Team Alliance is the environment that you need to be in and surround yourself with. Point blank, period. All right, that's it. So it's going to cut off. I'll holler at y'all later. Um, I'll see y'all when I'm on Starbucks later on. Deuces.